This is Dr. Amuda from the Department of Humanities and Social Sciences, Bitspilani, Hyderabad Campus, India. My paper, Innovative Teaching in a Technical Report Writing Classroom, is a record of innovative teaching strategies that focused on helping learners write logical reports. This study is an outcome of qualitative research conducted in the course English for Engineers. The main objective of the course was to teach young engineers how to go about technical documentation, especially report writing. The aim here was to prepare students for their workplace and make sure they knew the formats of the required documents like proposals, memos and reports. The duration of this course comprised of 42 lecture hours and the groups considered for this project were two batches of engineering students. There were about 130 students around 18 and 19 years enrolled in this course. The concept of classroom lectures is something that is in question today. Educators are on a constant lookout for innovative teaching methods by which they can make the teaching learning process more interesting. The course's objective was to tune up the writing skills of the learners and help them prepare technical documents without errors and thereby enhance their written and the presentation skills. The expected outcome was to make the learners write and prepare the necessary technical documents in accordance to their workplace requirement. Educators are aware of the fact that reports demand a specified format and need to be logically presented with relevant details and proof of what it states. This paper discusses a few practices that were followed to teach reports. These relate to 1. Identification of an appropriate topic for a specified task. 2. Identification of authentic text that would enhance learning. 3. Creation of opportunities for learners to realize that it's just not the format of report that is important, but also the language in use. 4. Enrichment of the learner's performance by making them contribute to classroom learning. And 5. Creating an environment to nurture learning outside the classroom as well. I will begin by stating the objectives set for the classroom and proceed to discuss the procedures, problems and possible solutions that relate to it. The objective set were 1. To help students write logical reports, work on their revisions and editing techniques. 2. To help them participate actively and contribute to learning. Before I proceed with my discussion, I'd like to draw your attention to the language level of the learners. They belong to the B1 level with a target to achieve the B2 level of proficiency in writing by the end of this course. As I have mentioned earlier, we do know that reports demand a specified format. A product approach to writing appears to suit this requirement. Nina Dash and M Dash mention that the product approach focuses on the final outcome of writing logical and error-free essays. In this approach, students are given a model text, which they study, analyze, and reproduce. This implied that it was essential for an educator to supplement the students with a sample of a report and expect the same to be represented in the document which they produce. Even though the product method well suits the teaching criteria, the problem was that the learners would find the learning monotonous and may fail to participate in active learning. Now, how does one make something like report writing interesting? Well, the answer was quite simple here as the concept of task-based learning is becoming an important element in the teaching and assessment process today. Long argued that the target task is a piece of work undertaken for oneself or for others, freely or for some reward. Thus, examples of tasks including painting a fence, dressing a child, filling out a form, buying a pair of shoes, making an airline reservation. In other words, by task is meant the 101 things people do in everyday life, at work and play and in between. Hence, the selection of appropriate tasks to motivate learners and to make them feel rewarded became an essential component of this research. 
It immediately relates to the specified tasks, methods and approaches which would complement innovative teaching. In order to achieve my second objective, I was inclined to look into the options that task-based learning had to offer. The role demanded of me to identify appropriate tasks that would fit into the learning scenario. A process approach may suit this condition, as O'Brien defines it as an activity in which teachers encourage learners see writing as not as grammar exercises, but as the discovery of meanings and ideas. Hence, the task that enables one to select topics, explore ideas, and contribute to writing must be selected. On the other hand, as a teacher, I did have to keep options open to provide revisions and feedback whenever required. With the above reasoning, it was decided that this section of engineers would be open to learning which involved the product and the process approach to the writing. I will present in this paper how this experimental study explored the possibilities of balancing out between the process and the product approach to teach learners organize their contents and write their reports without errors. The product-based approach enables the teacher to provide the prescribed model of a report and get it reproduced in accordance to the format, whereas the task-based approach would enable the learner to collect information, explore it, gain an understanding and have discussions. The tasks that supported the process approach were the zigzag method of reading, the pose on wall wisher, a technical platform, and the use of movie trailers in the assessment process. The task helped me as a teacher to reach out to my students, make my sessions more interesting and their learning worthwhile. As my sessions progressed, I realized that it was possible to combine the concept of technology with the zigzag method of reading. Let me explain how the teaching progressed through the process chart here which depicts my work plan. The learners were divided into groups comprising of three members and were instructed to select a topic, but each one of them had to read a different article that related to the topic. They had specific instructions that these articles would have to be from impact journals, thereby supplementing my required authentic text. So they went about collecting the required text began reading them, and then they posted their views on Wallwisher. Once they completed their reading, they had to create an account on Wallwisher and post their views on it. Wallwisher proved to be a very helpful platform as it enabled the instructor to follow up on the discussions the students have. Its features permit students to embed text, documents, web pages, video clips, and other links they refer to. This did make their learning fun and interesting. Given here is a screenshot of a student group's wall. For my part, I was able to comprehend their understanding on the content they read and the discussions which they had during the brainstorming sessions. It proved useful as a platform, helped me post my comments and be a part of the students' discussions. Assessments reflect the amount of learning that has taken place. The learners had learned the format of a report based on the product approach during the lecture sessions. They had also learned about the appropriate use of transitional words and it was important to test their understanding of it. Hence, they were given a link to a website on movie trailers and asked to identify the transitions used and report it. This was more than merely a task completion for it would be impossible to complete this particular task without understanding how the content functions. The students did get back, informing me that this particular task was tough. The final report of the students was a result of the extensive reading, discussions and reasoning in which the learners were involved. There was a lot of peer support during the process of writing, which involved error analysis and proofreading. The final report, which they submitted for assessment, was a product of their discussion and reading. The entire process was quite challenging and interesting. It kept the learners active and there was enthusiasm and a positive response from the students. 
Learners approached me and sought my feedback from time to time and made progress as expected. This experimental study was successful as the students were provided with an opportunity to gather information and read authentic texts, share their views and discussions with constant mentoring and input from their instructor. The strategies used help to develop communicative language learning as well. The zigzag reading supplemented the cognitive aspect of the learners as they involved in predicting and inferencing the possibilities of new areas where technology could be put to use. Their interpersonal skills developed as they shared their views, opinions and ideas about the topic. The study has given me a better insight into how a lesson can be made interesting and how learners can be kept engaged in the learning process. As a teacher, I have learned how to reach out to students, make sessions more interesting and learning worthwhile. Thank you.